the ball down. If you've got a sinker, those balls get elevated. They flatten out. Jackson Hill will step in. He's the DH from the left side. Freshman from Keller, Texas. In there for a strike. 250 on the year. He's driven in four. Lashes this ball foul. It's one and two. It is an offensive night. Wind was blowing out. It is warm. 73 degrees, but the humidity's got to be twice that, it feels like. Pitch misses upstairs. Count evens at two and two. And yeah, we get the best of both worlds up here. If it's out of the north, it's right in our face. It's out of the southwest today. It's at our backs, and we can't feel it at all. Downstairs. And it's a full count. Hurley got me a little nugget at, before he started. This is his first start in a while. Well, chop foul. Now, actually, it's going to be called a fair ball out in front of the plate, and that's an out. Thought it was off of his foot. Instead, goes 1 3 on the put out. Uh, dribbling up the line. Charlie Bigman has to get off, bare hands it, put himself in position to throw without the runner in the way. Ryan Black will step in. Second baseman from Grand Prairie in the Metroplex area, sophomore. Curveball misses upstairs for ball one. 271 on the year, three homers. He's driven in 25, has Black. He steps back in. Just misses. Luke Hamilton calling the balls and strikes behind the plate. Another one chopped on the ground. That sinker work, and here comes Kennedy. Tries to get it at first. In time. That was really close right there. <laughs> it was very close. No indication they want to take a look at it. So good play. Yeah, Kennedy had to come get it. Almost looked like he struggled to get it out a little bit and pitched a changeup over there. From the looks of that. I would agree. Texas I would review Texas it. might have caught a break. So two outs, pitches delivered. This is outside for ball one. Porner will step in, senior from Dallas. Right fielder. Physical young man. He's got five homers. He's driven in 24. Riding a 10-game hitting streak as he steps in. Chops this ball foul. Quickly, it's one and two. Yeah, both Hill and Black just pounded it in the turf. You know, you're getting a, a movement, getting off the barrel, but getting good movement when you see just balls chopping in front of the plate. This is outside. Count evens at two and two. Hurley's 2 2. Right side, back out of play. You know, players play behind certain when guys would play behind you. You play by, you know, when the guy's a sneaker ball, if you're an infielder, hey, I got to be ready tonight because I'm going to get activity. Bring your glove. Ball misses uh, inside. And then there's, right. as an outfielder, I, I spent a lot of time out there too. There were guys that I knew were going to be fly ball. Hey, I'm going to get a lot of opportunities today. Outfielders got their legs loose when I was pitching. <laughs> Things are going to get in the air? Yes. Breaking ball in there for the strikeout. What? Give up a few there. JT will step in. Thomas, sophomore from Walsahatchee, will step in. 61 hits on the year as he steps in. Downstairs. One of the leaders in the Big 12 in that department. And left field, Ellis, center field, Berkeley playing extremely deep against Thomas. This ball rifled right at the shortstop. Gregory can't hit it any harder than that. But had a little shift on. Played a little bit shortstop side of second base and never had to move. Take a perfect look at it right here. Okay, he moved a step to the right, but 
right to him. I believe he could have crossed over and backhanded it if he wanted to, but it was hit pretty firm. Yes, it was. Flores will step in. Sophomore from San Antonio, Longhorn shortstop. Downstairs for ball one. The one and oh. Into the shift again. Black comes up with it, fires to first. Two quick outs for Texas here in the home half of the first on four pitches. Calhoun fastball can be anywhere at 90 to 94 miles an hour. I've seen a couple 91s here in the first. Likes to throw sliders as is all speed to righties and change ups to lefties. Peyton Powell will step in, senior from Robinson. The Longhorn third baseman will step in. 54 hits on the year. As he steps in, he's driven in 34. First pitch misses upstairs for ball one. Side. I believe that was that sink, a little bit more of a sink to that fastball that time. A little movement. Hitters count now 2 0. Oh. Bottom of the zone, but called a strike, and it's 2 and 1. Side hitters count now. Well, that's kind of a two seamer that just runs down in the zone. That's a good angle from Calhoun. The three one catches the inside corner, and the count goes full. Little tail back to it. I think it was supposed to throw that one away. He just held on to it a little too long, but it worked out for him. The payoff. Foul back. We'll do it again. Eleventh pitch of the inning, seventh of this at bat with two outs. Powell steps back in. Inside ball four. It gets away, but not far enough to advance. So Powell becomes a one out base or two out base runner, excuse me. And that's just a great number. Second fewest in Division One. In a year when we think it's an epidemic with the walks we've seen across all of college baseball. 2.8 per game. That's not bad. Second behind Arizona. Arizona staff still hasn't walked 100. Still under 100 on the season as a staff. That's impressive. Balou steps in. Hits this ball hard into left center with some carry. Get out of town. 2 nothing Texas. Two quick outs for the Mavericks. And a walk and a home run into the Yeti yard for Max Blue, number 13. 401 feet, just under 109 miles an hour off the bat. Look at that swing right there, head down. Stayed inside it enough into the Yeti yard. Two nothing horns on the 13th home run by Max Blue on the first pitch. He saw. Just dropped the head on that. It's been a while since Max has hit one. He was on a tear there for a while, but he's been making good contact. I mean, that was a 401 foot line drive. It just happened to leave the yard. Yeah, I mean, that ball. 
You hit them like that all the time, you'll take them, Ooh, whether they go out of the park or not. That ball was smoked, wasn't it? 0-1 oh, to Borba. The freshman from California. Horn first baseman. That pitch misses inside. Count evens at one and one. Just missed. Yeah, pretty good location on that fastball. The 2 1. Off of the fist, but foul. And before the first pitch, Baloo hit out of the park. Calhoun had two outs on just four pitches. Seventeenth pitch of the inning coming. Nice job by Borba seeing the shift and adjusting to it, shooting it the other way. Stay hot. He'll be a good player. I'm just saying that because he's had a couple of good games. He's just got a level head, grew up. Son of a coach, knows the game, played for Team USA. Will Gasparino will step in. Another freshman from Los Angeles, 6'6", 210-pound center fielder tonight. Sky to right. Long run from Porter. Sliding can't make the play. Great effort to try to make that play. That ball came back with this breeze. A yeah, little breeze up there. It did come back enough to make a sliding effort. Did Pointer. No, not not used to the surroundings. I mean, look how far he had to go. And now you're getting to the brown turf. You know you have to slide right there. Just had a little little peek at the wall. Great effort though. He had to go about 40 yards to try to get there. This is out in front of the plate. Going to be a tough out. Throw to first in time to make the play and ends the inning. But first pitch misses to Ryan Ellis as he steps in. Ahead now, two balls and no strikes. Two and one now. Liner to right, coming on quickly. Gasparino can't come up with it. And on his way to second base with a double is Ellis. It was a, an effort for Gasparino. Tried to slide down and get to a 12th double of the year. Talked about him in the open. He just keeps getting hits. Right there, a little sinking liner. Can't get the glove on it. Gets away. Once it does that, an easy double there for. Ryan Ellis. Earhart will step in. Parker. Catcher. Takes a breaking ball for a strike. Junior from Sugarland. 341 on the year with runners in scoring position. He's been good. He's got nine homers as well. They appeal. He did go around. Count. Now 0 and 2. It's driven in 33. That's Parker. Did he go again? Yes, he did. And looking back, fired a first for the strikeout, second for Hurley. Well, that time looked like went around a little more than the first check swing. Chris Armstrong will step in. Interesting. Sophomore from Conroe, 6'4. Got some Texas ties. Yes, he does. Big first baseman. To Tice Armstrong. Parents Kenny and Patty were both divers here at Texas. It's a pretty good swimming school. Oh, swimming and diving. Swimming, diving. Right. Maybe the best. Pat ever. Patty won a national championship when she was here. 
Kinney, dead, is in the Swimming and Diving Hall of Fame for the state of Texas. And he also competed in the 76 Olympics. Wow. Yeah, swimming and diving has been good for a while. Mm. And decades. Eddie Reese finally, this time, decides to retire. S stepping down. What a career he had. Shot foul. Down 0 and 1. Galvan's foot. So ready to go again. As Armstrong steps in. 277 on the year. Four homers. He's driven in 24. Outside, count evens at one and one. Early trying to pitch around a leadoff double. This is outside, and it's two and one to Armstrong. Down as well. And it's three and one. Challenged him, threw it by him, and it'll be a full count. Third full count for Charlie Hurley. Through the first six batters in the lineup. Outside ball four. So a couple on here for the Mavericks. Third baseman Tate Bethel will step in. Sherman, Texas native. He's a junior. Fastball misses inside for ball one. 30 pitches now for Hurley. He's driven in 18 as Bethel. Count evens. A good one to double up if you can make a pitch right here. Sinker misses down. It's almost to the point where Charlie's starting to get command of that sinker where you can pretty much start it down the middle and it's going to run in. Sometimes you start it too far in, it just keeps going in. Yeah, as a catcher, you know, when you catch a guy that has a lot of movement, this ball misses outside. It's when you want to stay in the middle. I used to try to think staying in the middle of the plate and, and tell the pitcher, and I'd look at you if you were pitching to me, say, look, right knee if you're trying to go away, my left knee if trying to go in, but I'm going to sit right here in the middle. Yeah. Sometimes sinker balls try to be too fine with it instead of letting it eat. 3 1. Foul back. Count will go full. 4 3 2 count for Charlie tonight. It says pitch count up for 35th coming up for Charlie. 14 for 45 with runners in scoring position is Bethel. The 3 2. Outside corner strike three call. Made a good one when he needed it. Did Hurley. Excellent location from Charlie right there. What's this one come back at the end? All right there. Just enough. A little frame job by Rylan. Third strike out of the game. Berkeley will step in. Garrison, the center fielder, junior from Alito. 20th pitch of the inning in there for a strike. Seamer catches that outside corner again. Same exact spot. They got the strikeout. 
with Bethel. Now you throw that slider right in that same spot. You'll get a swing and miss and get out of the inning. Ah, too low. Didn't look like a strike. <laughs> Never did. No. So one and two, but a great block by Galvan to keep the runners in place. Got her longhorn ready. There's that slider in that same spot. Comes away with a fourth strikeout. Yes, he did. As Porter Brown will step in. Big swing and a miss for strike one. Bottom third of the order due for Texas. But you could tell even in 2005, he was always into the game, always watching the game. Knew the game already. Oh, yeah. It's about down the left field line. Off of one of the food trucks. Look out. It's Porter down, senior, San Antonio. 0 2. You knew he had a was going to have a long career in this game, though. Just he watched it, he studied it. I'm excited for him. Get his first opportunity as a head coach. Hope he does well. Spent a few years with Skip Johnson up at Oklahoma. A little bit at Rice. The one-two, swinging a mess for the first out. First strikeout. Climb the ladder with a running fastball from Calhoun. Rylan Galvan will step in. Sophomore from Sinton, Texas. Step in. Calhoun set. First pitch in there for a strike. You, you showed me as we were looking at stats, as we always do before every game. Calhoun set. He does not look like a guy that only has 16 walks and 16 strikeouts. I mean, his command looks a lot better, and his stuff's enough stuff, Zeke, that you would think he would have more than 16 Ks. 91 to 94. Got a four pitch mix. Only uses mainly the three fastball slider changeup. This seems when you when you look at those numbers, this spends a lot of time in the middle of the plate. Upstairs. Hitters count now three and one. I found out the other day by reading the X Twitter. Tyler Junior College twin brother. Renee Galvan. Hitting very well. Never knew he had a twin brother. First for me. This ball. Off of the left hand facility. left handed hitting. Rene Gabon. Okay. Count goes full. Always learn something new every day. Doesn't matter how long you're here. <laughs> every day. The three two outside corner strike three call back to back case two gone two gone for Texas here in the second. Well, that one just stayed right on plane right on the outside corner. D Kennedy will step in freshman from Fort Worth Preston Wood. Christian Academy. Longhorn second baseman will step in. Calhoun's first delivery. Tried to check his swing, fouls it back. 30th pitch coming from the Maverick right-hander. Got some throwing. Starting up in the Maverick bullpen. Colin Horton. Slider misses. There's Colin. It's unusual for me to say, but Coach Van Hook <laughs> told us before the game that we would see a lot of different arms. Chop foul. We'll do it again with a one two count. 
souvenir. That's some long arms to reach wow. over and go down and get that. The one two. Downstairs. Count evens. Longhorns go on the road this weekend. Take on the number one seed, I guess at this point, or leading the Big 12 at 14 and 4. Oklahoma Sooners in Norman. Just watching the weather. A lot of rain anticipated storms over the weekend in Norman. I think Sunday, 40%. That's the least chance of rain. The 3 2. Outside ball four. Second walk issue. Let's take a look at the upcoming. First pitch, Thomas goes the other way, his 62nd hit of the year. He saw the shift that time and said, I'm going to play right to it. Trying to do exactly that. Gregory played up the middle. Watch this. Yep. I'm just going to poke it the other way. Nice base hit. Two, two on with two outs. Take what the defense gives you. Texas got their first two runs with two outs. Two run home run by Max Ballou in the first. Well, this guy could get three quick ones here in a hurry. Leads the team with 14 homers. First pitch just misses outside for ball one. Leads the team, leads the Big 12. And home runs, Max Blue right behind him now. Literally on the on deck circle. And one behind her and home runs. So he's behind him. One and one to Flores. See the leaders in the Big 12. Josh Cross been in a homer slump up there in Cincinnati. Ball foul back. For a while he was leading the Big 12. Yes, he was. Flores steps back in. You see his numbers with runners in scoring position. For the first time today, we have a few hints of sunlight across the infield. This ball chopped foul. It's one and two. Something we haven't seen here. Yeah, where did that peek out from? Oh. Oh. Westlake? It's out west. It's in the <laughs> evening. I know, I, that's the only thing I can give I, you. I took a, a guess at the sunsets in the west. I gotcha. One, two. Just misses. The count evens at two and two. A tough pitch to lay off of right there. Maybe looking for something different. The two two from Calhoun. Fights it off. Lives to see another pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat, 43rd of the game coming from the Maverick right hander. This is down and in. The runners will be off here. Uh, collects himself. I like that. Got 20 seconds, got to take a quick breath. There go the runners. This one raced in the center. Everybody advances 180 feet, 3 nothing Texas. They laid off a couple close pitches, fouled off a couple, and then gets a fastball center cut. Lines it right back up the middle with the runners going. Thomas able to go first to third. Kennedy scoring easily. Started with a two out walk. So. Both innings, two outs, nobody on, and Texas has found ways to score. Still not through here. 
in the bottom of the second as Peyton Powell will step in. He walked and scored his first time up. Shift on in the infield. Ball foul straight back. A good hack for strike one. Powell will step back in. Something off that one missed with it, and it's one and one. Foul back. Shot coach Rod. That was coming back. Look close. I thought I was going to get him. Steps back in. Down the left field line, but fading foul. Kept the hands back. The one two. Throw over. I didn't think it was. It was the 30th pitch of the inning coming up for Calhoun. Yeah, he only threw 18 in the first. The one, two. Downstairs. Threw 19, excuse me, in the first. And now 50th of the game coming. Side. Flores will be off with the pitch here. Charlie Hurley had four to seven hitters in the lineup. This is the fourth 3 2 count of this inning for Calhoun. Flores will be off. There he goes. This ball down the left field line into the well, that one got out of the park, so it can't. It, it hit off top of the truck and then bounced out of the park, so it's not in that area where you get that. Well, I'm still searching for it. <laughs> I think it went over out of the ball yard. 3 2 again. On the ground is short. Cross the diamond in time, and that ends the inning. But the Longhorns do get on the board. Gregory will step in. Pitch misses for ball one. To center. Playable. Thomas has a beat on it. For out number one. First fly ball out of the game for Hurley. And back to the top of the order. You usually don't want to see too many with a sinker ball pitcher. Fly ball. Jackson Hill will step in. He grounded out his first time up. This chopped on the ground to short. Flores has it. Flips to first. Two quick outs for the Mavericks here in the third. Say quick out, quick three pitches. That's quick. That's pretty quick. We'll visit with head coach Clay Van Hook. We come back in the bottom of the third. As Ryan Black will step in, grounded to second his first time up. Very close play at first base. Very close. Could have went either way. Stairs. Hitters count now two and zero. Oh. Back.
backdoor little breaking ball. Downstairs, and it's three and one. So good hitters count now coming. Chop foul. We'll do it again with a full count. Left side might have swung at ball four. They're Jason. They're Jason. Oh, stayed in. Stayed in the. Oh, no, oh, got through the fence. fence. Can't reach it. Arms are not long enough. Excuse me, Mr. Officer. Yes, sir. Three, two again. And a two out walk. As Ryan Black makes his way to first base. Corner will step in. Strikeout victim his first time up. Riding a 10 game hitting streak. His pointer as he steps in. 50th pitch for Hurley coming. In there for a strike. This ball rifled. What a play by Flores to get it out. Outstanding. Hang a star on that one. Mavericks of UTA. Clay Van Hook, it, it's hard for me not to look at you and smile over the, all the years that we've all been together. But just talk to us about your journey to get to where you're at right now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been unbelievable. Just the, as you said, the relationships built starting here. Um, it's been a fun ride. Hopefully I got a lot of years left under my belt, um, but it's a it's been a fun ride and excited to be where I'm at and uh, ready to get this thing going. Well, besides the national championship, what was your funnest or best recollection when you were here? Oh, well, some of the recollections probably can't be uh, said on air. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I said it earlier, just the camaraderie. I mean, when you still have a text message with 15 guys, you know, from that year, the bonds you build, the, the stuff that you go through, the ups and downs. But now we're all fathers, husbands. Um, you know, there's there's too many memories, uh, you know, from the coaching staff to, to the players. It's just a, it's one of the best uh, best memories of my life. Last one I got for you. Who do you blame for this non-conference schedule? Uh, yeah, me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look up, and we're 5-13 and 13 in non-conference, but it's the number one in the country. So, uh, you know, when we took the job, you know these kids, these these in-state battles, the you know to play you know quality opponents. That's that's a foundation of what this culture is going to be built about. We want to we want to play against the best. These kids want to play against the best. And uh, you know so far it's it's been a little bit up and down. But I know what uh, these guys are learning a lot about themselves. You recruit them, they see the schedule. If they don't want to play, go somewhere else. You got a tough schedule. You want guys that want to play that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's like I said, that's what we're built on. Uh oh, I hope that one stays in the yard. I don't think it I will. Think it, will it will get out of town. 4 nothing. This is halfway up the light standard <laughs> as Max Ballou's second of the night. We're going to have to figure out how to get Max out here in the next uh, couple innings. Well, it's, it's going to ask you, you, you. You've got one of his teammates from Alito on, uh, playing on your side. Yeah, I, apparently I think we didn't get the scout report uh, on how to get him out. I mean, you all know Max. He's He's been a hitter ever since high school. That guy's, that guy's hit his whole life. So, uh, yeah, we're going to we got some we got some work to do. Thanks for taking the time. Good luck to you and your team the rest of the year. And, Hope to see you soon, see quickly. You, see you guys. Thanks, Take folks. care. Clay Van Hook. Folks, that ball wow. is absolutely, we're still waiting on distance. I don't know that they can fix, how much, what'd they say? 396. No way. I think it was 396 feet up. <laughs> His yeah, that, second of the night. That was up there well. Guess what, we have a new, uh, we have a tie for the home run lead in the Big 12. It was his 14th of the year. My word, that went a long way. Exit velocity 108 miles an hour. Both of the home runs have been 108 miles an hour. Casey Borba steps in. We haven't even given you the, the new pitcher yet. 
on Horton, his 17th appearance. He's from Keller, six foot. And he, if you give one up, I've always felt like he, I've never pitched, Zeke, but if you're going to give one up, might as well give up a big one. Never? You've never pitched? I, I pitched in Little League. Okay. Will you give but, one up there? Yeah, of well, course. But, yeah, but <laughs> I don't want really, to. No, I can't remember would. yesterday. So Trust me. 256 I had in my career. You want them like that. You don't want wall scrapers. You don't want the, yeah. the, the outfielder to think he might have it. You want to just go. Just keep going. Skied in the infield. Black calls for it. Puts it away for the first out of the inning. Wow. Yeah, when you give them up, sometimes you, you drop your head and want a new baseball, but then sometimes you drop your head and go, oh, wait a minute, I got to see how far this one really going. <laughs> I've done that before. Mm. I don't think there's a park in America could hold that, including the Grand Canyon. Yellowstone? Yellowstone, maybe. <laughs> wow, that was a blast. Gasparino steps in. Out in front. Down on the count 0 1. Will 0 for 1 as he steps in. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Texas 2 in the first, 1 in the second, and now at least 1 here in the third. Lead 4 0. Breaking ball misses outside. Horton looks in, now comes set. Tried to check his swing, fouls it off. We'll do it again at one and two. Just off the plate. Good take there. It's two and two. Ripped foul. We'll do it again at two and two. Bad here. Hot off some couple of tough pitches. Count remain two and two. Skied. Going to be a tough play. Bethel over. Puts it away for the first second out of the inning. Let's take a look at this blue home run one more time. It is launched right there. So he watched it for a second, but watch. Max is around sec first and halfway to second before that ball landed across Como. Mm. Porter Brown will step in. Pitch in there for a strike. Order 0 for 1. Quickly, it's 0 2. It's been a struggle for Porter. And when you have struggles, you look up every time when you're struggling a little bit as a hitter, you're 0 2. Both at bats tonight for Porter, 0 2. the plate one and two now to Brown as a hitter you work to try to get 2-0 and 3-1 counts and when you're 0-2 all the time it's difficult to hit this ball hit well to right with some carry get out of 
Chinatown, Porter Brown. His eighth of the year. Third home run of the game for Texas. You know, that has to feel good for Porter Brown. 407 feet worth of home run for Porter. At an 0-2 count. That ball elevated down the middle of the plate. Porter, as he always does, hustling down the line. That ball gets out of the park easily. So 5-0 Texas. As Galvan will step in, strike out victim his first time up. Well, sky to center, but playable. Berkeley under puts it away and ends the inning. But the Longhorns put a two spot on the board, and they do it via the losses as we go to the fourth inning. It will be four, five, six due. Charlie Hurley out for his fourth inning work. Stake now to a five nothing lead. First pitch break a ball in there, first strike. This ball rocketed. Nice play to his right by D. Kennedy. Great play by Forrest ended the top of the third, and a great play by Kennedy starts the fourth. Back to back by the middle infielders for the Horns. This one, Kennedy, a couple of steps, and they got rid of it in a hurry. A little flip back to Borba. Don't waste time. Good defensive plays for Texas. No question. Gerhardt struck out his first time up as he steps in. Breaking ball for a strike. Downstairs. Count evens. Swing and a miss. Fifty ninth pitch coming. Second walk. Third walk issued by Hurley. Excuse me. So Armstrong will come to the plate. He walked his first time up. Mavericks first baseman. Chops it foul. Yeah, go get it. Marilyn Galvan getting out there. Thought the one earlier in the game might have been off the foot, but it wasn't called. Galvan looking to get that one before it went foul, just in case. That's the runner's not running. <laughs> you can get an out somewhere. Well, in that case, might be able to get two. The 0 1. Right side. We'll do it with an 0-2 count. Hurley set, checks the runner. Gets it by him for the strikeout. Fifth of the ball game. They just challenge him with this one. Threw it right down the middle, belt high, and swung right through it. Bethel will step in, strike out victim his first time up. Chop foul. For strike one.
Steps back in. Snap throw to first. Close. Earhart back in safely. The one one. In there for a strike. Strike out of Armstrong. Fifth of the game for Charlie Hurley. Two of them of the five have been on three pitches. They'll go right after. Him. Attack. The one two. Breaking ball misses outside. Count evens up. Hurley set on the ground right side long run for Kennedy he has it those to first in time good defense the Mavericks inning is over we go for Texas first pitch misses from the left hander Hazel Texas native 6 1 220 pound fourth appearance of the year Hazel. Hazel. Chopped on the ground to third. Throw across the diamond in time. Bethel gets the job done. For the first out here in the fourth. Back to the top of the order. Lifetime Texans on. Where's Hazel? I think it's northwest of Fort Worth. Well, you're, you're, you're a Houston guy. I'm more of a Metroplex guy. I was born in Fort Worth a long time ago. So back to the top of the order. Thomas, one for two. First pitch outside corner, first strike. JT. Singled to left his last time up against the shift. Took advantage of it. Bender in there for a strike, and it's quickly 0 2. You said northwest? All right, more west than north, maybe? Okay. Right on top of it. You are correct. The 0 2. Stairs one and two. Collins set to go. The end of the bat foul. And it's one and two. Steps back in. On the ground to third. Bethel has it. Across the diamond in time. That'll surprise you as a third baseman when a left hander hits a bullet at you. Sometimes you can get caught not prepared. It's sometimes hard to tell how hard it's actually hit. Playing even with the bag down there. Boy. Visit with assistant coach Steve Rodriguez. Next half inning. Jalen Flores will step in. RBI single his last time up. One for two on the night. Downstairs for ball one. Greg, it says 73 degrees on the board, but the humidity is just 
thick and it feels like it's 93 it degrees. Does. Shot foul. Off the foot. As Flores will try to walk that off. Count will even at one and one. 73% humidity and 73 degrees. If you add them together, does that mean it's 144? Seems no. like it. Okay. Breeze blowing out to left. Texas has scored in every frame so far. Two in the first, one in the second, two in the third. Two outs, nobody on here, though, in the fourth. As Collins comes set. Way outside. It's two and one. Stairs hitters count now three and one. The three one to Flores. Get out of town, fifteenth of the year. Whatever you can do, I can do better. The tie didn't last long in the home run lead. That one 385 feet off the bat of Jalen Flores. Down, good extension. And right there, that angle, he knew it. Off the national champion signs, and back onto the turf. There's been some balls hit out of here that have been no doubters. Fourth home run of the night for Texas. Six nothing. This ball on the ground. Black has it to throw across his body. Will not get Powell. Infield single. First hit of the night for Peyton. He's now one for two on the night. And the man of the match comes to the plate. He's been up twice. He's homer twice. So we got one three home run game this year. Couple home runs that game when he hit the three and third one was a grand slam. Only one runner on here. Got a chance though to repeat with three. Lou steps in. Lefty lefty matchup here. Break a ball in there for a strike. Six runs on eight hits for Texas. Blue has a three home run game against Baylor. Breaking ball dropped in there and it's quickly 0 2. It's just enough on it from Collins to freeze you just for a second. Got him just right before you came on the air. Right now, all you do is just stick your hand out. <laughs> well, what's funny is uh, even on this past weekend against TCU, I thought I thought our guys did a really good job. We hit some balls really hard that typically would kind of go out. And you know, when you have 20 to 25 mile an hour winds blowing straight in, it, it kind of held some of those balls up, and we didn't get the production that we were looking for. And, you know, our biggest our, our biggest message to him was don't change anything. You know, you're doing a lot of things right. We just got to continue to hit the ball hard and, you know, hopefully find some luck along the way. And today I think we're hitting the ball just as hard as we were the uh, this past week and uh, getting some results for it. A different breeze tonight. No, yes. kidding. No, they're hitting, they're hitting the ball hard. But you had to be uh, pleased with what you saw at Charlie. Four innings, just one hit. Oh, isn't that great? You know, when, when you have a guy go out there and uh, give you one hit and four innings and, and throw in multiple 
uh, pitches for strikes, uh, being able to you know drop a curveball in when he needed to, and uh, you know really kind of control that. You know he got himself uh, in a little bit of trouble with a couple guys on, but then he kind of found a way to work his way out of it, which is, is exactly what you're looking for. Thanks for taking the time to get you back to work. Absolutely, guys. Thank you. Steve Rodriguez visiting with us, and out of the bullpen for Texas comes Andre Duplantier as he comes into the game. We'll give you his numbers for the junior from Humboldt. After this first pitch, misses for ball one. He's really been a good constant out of the bullpen. You see his numbers. He's been that one guy that you could count on coming out of the bullpen for the that, Horns. That's why you see him in this situation right here. It's a Tuesday game, up 6 nothing. Get him an inning, keep him fresh. You want to keep guys that you're used regularly on the weekends fresh during the week. The 2-0. Foul back by Berkeley. It will be 8-9-1 and one due for the Mavericks here in the fifth inning. Break the ball dropped in there for a strike. Count evens at two and two. Duplantier set. Misses with another bender. And it's a full count. The payoff. Got him. Cutter ran away from him. First strikeout. For Dre. You see that ball come in right there and then right at the end. Just a little bit of movement on it. 88 miles an hour from number 88. Gregor will step in. Fly to center his first time up. Short stop for the Mavericks. This is for ball one. <laughs> Lifted back out of play. Count evens. Gregory steps back in. Just threw it by him right there, and it's one and two. All right, Greg, the season starts in the second weekend in February. You go through that month when it's cool and everything. You get through March, and now we're at the end of April. It, it, you already know some guys' seasons are well on their way and doing well, and some guys have been struggling, but there's still so much baseball and so and much important part of baseball left to come here in college baseball. Yeah. I mean, this is the ball hit hard out to right. Blue has to play it on a hop. This is when it starts to get more fun, more exciting. Every win, every loss counts on your, your record, your RPI, going up, going down, where you are in the standings. And, and then those young players, too, that's all. This is also the time for guys that are playing in. Coming out of high school last year, and now they're playing now. You don't play as many games as they've already played. Your your season would be over if you were playing in high school because they just don't play a 56 game schedule. The playoffs are starting. Yeah, well, some teams their season is over. Yeah, yeah. but you still, you, know, you, you look up. But Texas comes into the game. I mean, this is the 41st game of the year for the Mavericks, and for the Longhorns, it's the 42nd game of the year. My junior year, we played 37 in high school. Well, that, and that was a bunch. You are good. Y'all well, were playing we, here we, in the state We went to state. We won the state championship. Yeah. So, yeah, we went all the way through. So that's a lot of games. And you're right. It, it can. And that's that's when you start to look at the the younger players and see are they are they slowing down? Are they are they is it the game too fast for them? We haven't seen that so far. No, I, we haven't. But I mean, that's just one of those things where you get you got to push through that window. And that's what a veteran guy, than a sophomore, a junior, a senior says, hey, this is a long season. There goes the runner. A little hit and run. This ball hit out to right center. Thomas able to secure it, put it away for the second out of the inning. That's always something to start watching to see how 
young players react when you get to that 40 game mark in a season. I think sometimes we talked about the weather. I mean, it's been hasn't been too hot. That can also take a toll on a young player as as the season progresses. Well, that doesn't you know mid May here. It's, this turf gets hot. Oh, it's coming. No, there's no doubt it's coming. Ryan Black will step in. But I always think that that's that that important thing for you know those guys that are not used to playing as many ball games as you play in college. As a player, you don't you don't realize it. You might might have a game bad, another game bad in a row, and then all of a sudden it's like we need to keep an eye on this kid. Yeah, give him a day off. You know, you get three or four days off during the week, but it could take a toll. Throw over again. Back in safely is Gregory. <laughs> Foul back. That's the cutter. That was a good one right there. Got in on his hands, didn't he? Middle of the plate, got in on his hands. Black steps back in with a 1 1 count. In there for a strike, and it's 1 and 2. Plantier's one two delivery. Breaking ball outside corner, strike three call. Couple of strike. First pitch in there for a strike. Ball chopped on the ground. Nice play by Bethel for the first out. McGlade, Cade McGlade. I said Clade is a G, Glade. Glade. Yeah. Bethel been busy over there today. Gasparino will step in. First pitch misses upstairs for ball one. 0 for 2 on the night as well. In there for a strike. Thirteenth appearance for the left-hander. Back out of play. As Van Hook told us, he says, you know, we've got some guys that need some work that, that are guys that we use out of our bullpen pretty regular. So he said they won't work much, but all of them will get in the game, and this is one of their guys. This is his 13th appearance of the year, so he's been used quite a bit. Well, Got to keep arms fresh. I mean, unless you throw all three games on a weekend, then you can get a Tuesday off. Got to keep them in there, get them in game situation. This ball chopped on the ground, going to be a tough play. Bethel hurries in time. To get Gasparino at first base, hustling down the line. That was a good play. Because you had to get it and get rid of it in a hurry. Well, he's had to do it a few times. You see him starting to set his feet up right there. Ball did get in the glove just as the foot was about to touch the base, but we might they get may a review. review this. But Bethel, four of the last five outs have been down to the third base. Been making those plays, too. This is going to be reviewed. See how close it is at first base. Don't think this one will take very long. It was a good angle we had. You could see the ball in the glove just as Will's foot was above the base. See that? Yeah, it's. 
Somehow that's twice he's had close ones. He has that little stutter step. Stutter step at the back. Yeah. Just half a half a step. Maybe not even a half a step. But I'm in agreement with you. This is going to hold up. Yeah, that's the angle you can see every bit of it. I mean, just got him. That was a good play to get it out. Not official yet, but till the review's over. But. And bottom of the fifth bottom inning. Of Get the call here. Is out at first base. 5 3. So confirmed. As Porter Brown comes to the plate, one for two in this one. Porter homered into right center his last time up. 407 feet to right center. First pitch in there for a strike. I'm glad just come in and fill the strike zone up. Break a ball misses. And the count evens. Catches the bottom of the zone and it's one and two to Brown. Downstairs. Two and two. That one looked like it got Earhart right in the bicep. Kind of curved curveball spin came back off. Got him right in the bicep. off we'll do it again earlier in the game in the third inning got some extension on the high pitch he did two strikes on him at the time eighth of the season support the 2 2 foul back and we'll do it again Senior from San Antonio steps back in. Chopped on the ground. That's a fair ball. Steps on the bag and one, two, three goes Texas for the first time in the ball. Four, five do. For UTA. Breaking ball misses for ball one. Communication device comes loose. Galvan gets a little help. Now ready to go. The 1 0. Skied into the darkness. Can Thomas find it? Yes, he can. A little bit of a twilight. You saw those hands go up where he was not sure, but able to find the baseball. Come up. Get the first out. Anytime this time of night, look, it's kind of a bluish gray, but sometimes the ball is just hard to pick up in that kind of sky. Ryan Ellis will step in, doubled his first time up and grounded to second. Plantier set. First pitch swinging, hits this ball, rips it into the gap. And this is going to be off of the wall. Second double of the night for Ryan Ellis. Jumps on the first one. Fastball from Dre. Well, again, Coach Van Hook 
telling us he can hit. Not going to hit the ball out of the park too much. Just missed one right there. A little more air time. Second double. Third hit of the game for the Mavericks. Earhart steps in. First pitch misses away for ball one. He has struck out and walked. This ball hit hard off of Flores. It did everything he could do to get down in position, but the ball just came up as it hit the turf. Able to get his body on it, but it was a rocket. You tip their, your head just for trying to get, keep your body in front of it. That ball was smoked. Got to be a base hit. Single. For Earhart. Armstrong will step in. He has walked and struck out. Runner at third, less than two outs. Chopped right out in front of the plate. They're going to call it a foul ball as Calvon trying to do the right thing. Go to second base with the runner. Hadn't left the box. If you can get that out at second, that's a double play. Easily double play. But 0 and 1. Armstrong steps back in. Skied right side. Coming on is Gasparino. Calls, puts it away. Tagging but faking the to come in to score. Holds the runner at third base. And for a second there, Gasparino lost it. Kind of did a little stutter step and then picked it up. Not deep enough to score. That'll bring Bethel to the plate. He's 0 for 2. Been busy at third base, making all the plays there. Looking for his first hit. Trying to get the Mavericks on the board here. At the top of the sixth. Breaking ball. In there for strike one. The 0 1. Paints the corner with that one, and it's 0 2. Two breaking balls, different locations, both called strikes for Dre. The 0 2. Got him with the third one. Strike out when he needed it. Go out there. Pull that cap down. He's got some locks. Looks like Bert. Looks like Bert Auburn out there. Eight nine one due for Texas here. Home half of the six, leading six nothing. Right hander into the windup. First pitch swinging. This ball's hit well to center, but playable. On the track, 395 foot fly ball for out number one. Hit it well. Just the wrong part of the park here at the dish. So 395, that ball went one foot shorter than. Max Ballou's second home run. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You're not going there? I'm not going there because I it didn't. <laughs> Max Ballou's ball landed in Elkin. <laughs> As D. Kennedy steps in. First pitch in there for a strike. D has walked and scored. He grounded to third. The ball misses outside. We said grounded to third a few times. Bethel's been good over there. The 1 1. Challenged him, threw it by him, and it's 1 and 2. Pinder misses outside. 
count evens. Just misses with a heater. And it's a full count. Top of the order. Jared Maverick. Thomas awaits on deck. Maverick pitching staff showing some good arms. All have been around 90 miles an hour or higher. One out walk. The top 10 and walks allowed. They have had their few control plot problems here tonight. Three. They walked three in the game. The first two have come in to score. Thomas will step in one for three. It's lined out, singled, and grounded out. First pitch in there for a strike. Fastball swings through it. It's quickly 0 2. Yeah. Fouled off left side, back out of play. Sisters. The 0 2. That ball gets away back to the screen. Kennedy moves up to second base. So into scoring position now. See how they call that. Well, oh, pitch, I believe. Earhart had to reach way over to try to catch it. Got the glove on it, but wasn't close to the spot. Now a runner in the scoring position here. Thomas with a one-two count. Hits this ball hard to center with some carry. Get out of town, JT! Fifth of the night for Texas, 12th of the year for Thomas. Four hundred and six feet for JT. Two RBIs, fifth home run of the game for the Longhorns. This ball just clearing the wall, just to the right of the monster. To season high now for Texas, fifth home run. They've hit four nine times this year. First time they've hit five. The record for a game for home runs is six. Flores steps in. He homered his last time up. Eight nothing horns now. Breaking ball misses outside for ball one. Texas has hit six home runs four times. Last time they did it against Missouri way back in 98. And this ball's hit well to left, but will not have the carry. Hellas over, puts it away. For the second out of the inning. That one just got in on Jalen. Just off the barrel. Took off good. Just not barreled up. Thomas Homer, Flores Homer. Ballou with two homers. Porter Brown. Porter Brown. Peyton Powell will step in. Singled his last time up. One for two with a run score. Big hack fouls it back for strike one. The 0 1. Change up misses outside. Count evens at one and one.
off of the hands foul. One and two now. Side. Back to an even count now, at two and two. This is outside, and it's a full count. The payoff. This ball. Back up the middle, just out of reach. And Gregory just couldn't come up with it. That was close. Uh, immediately off the bat. It took him that split second, and that's what cost it much. Can't see it from that one, but hit good by Powell. Just took that split second and then went for low. You'll see it right here. Team a little flat footed, then, had, then went for it. That brings Ballou to the plate. He has homered twice and struck out as he steps in. He was tied for the league lead and then surrendered it in the fourth inning back to Jalen Flores. The tie for the home run lead lasted about 30 minutes. The 1 0. This is outside. And it's 2 0. Oh. Fouled away, left side. In the first inning, a rocket into the Yeti yard. Give the Longhorns the lead, and this, this one. They found on radar ABIA. Yeah, we're down in Houston. I think NASA <laughs> found that one. This ball lined into the gap in left center. It's going to be down. Powell on his way to third. Throw goes back into second. A three hit night for Max Ballou. That ball hit hard again from Ballou. Look where it is. Look at his. Has to go down and get that ball. Hits himself with the bat with in the helmet on the follow through. He's hitting the ball hard all over the yard. Borbo will step in. Singled his first time up, one for three on the night. Runners in first and third. Texas has scored in every frame except the fifth. To a cross in this one. First pitch in there for a strike. Ball gets away. Far enough for Powell to advance. Well, scored every frame, as you said, except the fifth. And the fifth, they went down one, two, three. Breaking ball misses. Count evens. This is the bottom of the zone, and it's one and two. Borba steps back in. Way outside. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. The Longhorns do get on the board. One do for the Mavericks here. As Berkeley will lead it off. The center fielder 0 for 2 as he steps in. Tumas into the windup. First pitch slider in there for a strike.
The 0 1. Good live fastball throws it by him and it's quickly 0 2. Started to run in on Garrison Berkeley right there. Started his swing and then it kept running in on him. The 0 2. Fights it off on a pitch that was a hanger. Well, yeah, that's the one where the young freshman out there, you get away with those sometimes, but, but more times than not, it's going to get hit. That's in that count, you want to waste that slider. The 0 2. Fastball rides upstairs. One and two. I would have gone right back to it. He, he knows what he did wrong. Now you got to get out there and finish it. The one two. Fastball misses in. Count evens at two and two. Next home action. Sam Houston comes to town next Tuesday night for our next broadcast here on LHN. Final Texas Tuesday of the year. Now Walker Jan Yannick, Janik, catcher, moving up on the prospect list. Very talented catcher for Sam Houston. The payoff, breaking ball, outside corner, strike three call. Slider from Tumas. He's right on the outside part. Leg kick. Gregory will step in. Singled his last time up. One for two. I like that strike three call from Luke Hamilton back there. Yeah, right. He was a little bit off balance. First pitch misses for ball one. Ken Kaiser. Ken Kaiser. He, he used to give it that one leg. A name from the past. The 1 0. Rifled by a diving pal. Second hit of the night for Gregory. So back of the top of the order to Jackson Hill, the DH. He is 0 for 3. As he steps in. I'll just miss that. Hill will step in. Break a ball in there for a strike from Tumas. Quickly ahead, 0 2. Foul back. And the count remains 0 2. Pippi in a blanket. Eyes are starting to close. Oh, yeah, it's, it's getting close. <laughs> Upstairs. One and two. Hill steps back in. Off of the fist to center. Thomas comes in, puts it away for the second out of the inning. So two gone for Ryan Black as he steps in. Forty two hits on the year. He's driven in twenty five. Oh for two tonight. Ball 
back up the middle just out of reach of Flores. That was off the mound. Got that big hop. Line drive hit the side of the mound by Easton Tumas and just took off over Jalen Flores. Tyson Porter will step in. He is 0 for 3 and has a 10 game hitting streak, maybe riding on the line right now. As Porter steps in. Right side, back out of play. It's been good with runners in scoring position all season long. Driven in 24. Good location there, and it's quickly 0 2. The 0 2 from Tumas. Got him. Second strike out of the inning and ends the threat for the Mavericks. Seven do here in the home half of the seventh. First pitch. This is downstairs for ball one to Gasparino. Will 0 for 3 as he steps in. Right side. Souvenir. Somebody will get it. Count evens. The one one. This ball hit well to left with some carry. Get out of town for the sixth time tonight and the seventh time this season for Will Gasparino. Texas has now hit six home runs in a game five times. That went 440 feet. So did that go over the scoreboard? 440 feet. 440 feet. See what happened. It was absolutely mashed. It didn't. It went off of the scoreboard. Wow. Porter Brown will step in fifth homer of the night or the sixth homer of the night and the seventh overall for Gasparino Porter Brown steps in one for three Porter chops it foul and the count evens at one one. So what you are telling me up here just to make sure that no Longhorn baseball team in the history of the University of Texas has had seven homers in a game. No they have not. OK so we're, that's what we're, we're looking for that. Gotcha. And last time he had six was 1998. BB core era. Well that was in um, wasn't that like a 32 15 game up there in Missouri. Yeah it was. I, yeah I was there for the five and a half hours. <laughs> Well, chopped on the ground. Going to be a tough to get an out. Porter hustles down the line. He beats it out. Well, when you hustle out of the box, you make the defenders rush. I mean, yeah, it was up there. Porter has good speed. Case and Gregory had to try to rush the throw up the line. Would have been safe. Just try to get rid of it as quick as you can. I believe Porter was going to get there anyway. Yeah. Kimball Schutzler will step in. He came on defensively for Rylan Galvan. So his first plate appearance of the night for the junior from Lano, Texas. Downstairs, 37 hits on the year, four homers. He's driven in 19 for the former Yellow Jacket. Ball catches the outside corner. Will Nick Sanders 
is out into the on deck circle. We may see him as a pinch hitter. The one one. Downstairs. Two and one. To Schusler. Chopped on the ground. Only plays to first in time for the out. 6 3 on the put out. Down to second goes Porter Brown. And it will be Nick Sanders to come on to pinch hit. Freshman from Waco will step in as the pinch hitter. Foul back for strike one. Sander steps back in. This ball back up the middle. They catch Porter Brown in a pickle. As a runner, you got to hustle back and get to second. They get the out there. But no exchange as Sanders gets down to second base. Pitcher starts it. So it starts with a one and ends with a one there. They got rid of in a hurry with Porter Brown running down the line. A couple tosses, nice little run down and a tag on the end. That looked close, looked like he might not have tagged him. Wow. So the fielder's choice will bring the top of the order. Two for four on the night is Thomas, including a two run homer in the sixth. He steps in here, one across, nine nothing Texas. First pitch in there for a strike. Thomas now with 12 homers on the year. He's driven in 32, 63 hits on the year. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. And it's quickly 0 2 to Thomas. Way outside. That was a nice play. Earhart to snag that one. He reached out as far as he could go. I don't know how he was able to reach that far. So one and two. JT steps back in. Breaking ball. Did he go? Yes, he did for the strikeout. And that ends the inning. Might just have three more chances, three more outs. As Ellis steps in, he's had a good ball game. He has hit three balls right on the button. Jack O'Dowd comes on after Sanders pinch hit for Kennedy. So a doubt in it. Second base. Downstairs, 2 0 oh to Ellis, who has doubled twice. His other out was a bullet right at Kennedy at second base. So two for three on the night. Pitch in there for a strike and it's two and one. Tuesdays are strange in college baseball. Foul back earlier tonight. Duke was. New Mexico was getting was getting blown out. They got, got blown out. And then how about the score you're just giving me right there? New Mexico 17 to 3 over Texas Tech. Got nine of those in the last three innings. The 2-2. Two -two. 
This ball hit on the ground to the left. Flores has it, sets his feet. Nice play. For the first out of the inning to his left for Flores. And that'll bring the catcher to the plate. This ball was hit pretty crisp up the middle. Flores doing a nice job of setting his feet and getting it out. Earhart steps in. He has struck out, walked, and singled. One for two. First pitch misses for ball one. Big swing and a miss on the slider. The count evens. Ball sky to center. Playable for Thomas. Puts it away. For the second out of the inning. So two gone now as Armstrong comes to the plate. 0 for 2. He's walked, struck out, and flied out. Ball hit pretty well to center, but playable for Thomas. And a quick inning for Tumas. One, two, three, go the Mavericks. Here in the top 16th appearance of the year. You can see his record. He's been outstanding. Break a ball upstairs. 17 innings of work. He's got 17 Ks. Back-to-back -back sliders, and he's ahead quickly 0-2 on Jalen Flores. Two hit night for Flores as he steps in, including one of those six homers. His 15th, this rocketed into left field. Three hit night for Flores. That ball hit hard. Got a hanger. Then hung it right over Casey Gregory's head. 14th hit of the night. 351. On the season. Peyton Powell steps in. He's had a big night. He's walked and scored, grounded out, and single twice. So he is two for three as he steps in. Break a ball top of the zone, called a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Stairs. Count yeah. evens. Try the change up right there on Peyton. Powell will step back in. Came right back with it. Well, that went over the plate, just up. So two and one. So Powell steps back in. This is outside. Hitters count here three and one. There's a patience up there. Outside ball four. So a couple on here for Texas with nobody out as Blue comes to the plate. Three for four night, including two solo homers for Max Ballou as he steps in. There is action in the Maverick bullpen. Nobody out two on here in the eighth. Yeah, 13th and 14th homers of the year in this ball game. So Ballou steps in. Strike one out in front.
The 0 1. Breaking ball misses. Count evens. The 1 1 to Ballou. Fastball misses up and away. Two and one. Fouled off, back out of play. Count evens at two and two. Two two. Nice block. Earhart does a nice job. That that was a worm killer of about 54 feet. That was a short one. So the count goes full. 17th time you've said that tonight, Zach. We've seen a bunch of them. Steve set. Runners not running. This ball hit well out to left. But playable for Ellis. Fires back to second. Not in time. Hit that ball right on the button. Did Baloo. But Ellis able to make the running catch. For the first out of the inning. Besides the strikeout, Max Blue has hit the ball really hard. Yes, he has. All four. <laughs> yes, he has. Strikeout. Borbo will step in. He's one for four. Trevor Evie and Harrison Hammond still throwing in the bullpen. They could be throwing for the weekend right now with two outs or one out here in the eighth. Borba steps in. First pitch breaking ball moves, gets away, and everybody advances 90 feet. The wild pitch. Now the infield will have to be to come up. On, on breaking balls, you don't, you don't have you don't try to block it a different way. You just try to get your body in yeah. front of it. You know it's going to spin though. Right. You know it's going to have reverse spin. So if you go too far, that's when you get caught sometimes. Fastball outside corner and a good one for a strike. Actually, when you call breaking ball, I always would think I'm going to be a little slow to go down because it's going to come back at me. If you call fastball and got a block, you got to get there and get there in a hurry. This ball rifle down the left field line. This is going to be for extra bases. Flores scores. Here comes Powell to score. Borba with a two run double. Third game in a row. We've said that. He's on the left center. Right field, this one right inside the bag at third. Drop the hands, hit that one hard with the infield drawn up. Second hit of the night. First two RBIs for Borbo. Sixth double of the season. Gasparino will step in. 11 nothing Texas here. Bottom of the eighth inning. Gasparino homered his last at bat. Breaking ball in there for a strike. One for four on the night. 30 ribbies now in the season for the freshman right fielder. Swinging a miss there on a breaking ball. And it's 0 2. 20th pitch of the inning coming. Took something off that gets the strikeout. Second out of the inning. And that brings Porter Brown to the plate. Porter, eighth homer of the year and an infield single. So two for four as he steps in. We could have a pitching change here. Brown steps in. He's two for four as he steps in. First pitch. This is outside for ball one. Porter hit his eighth homer of the year. 
back in the third inning. The 1 0. Skied in the infield. Ryan Black looks for it, puts it away, and that ends the inning for Texas, but not before they add two. In the eighth, we go to the ninth. Texas cruising 11 up. Horns right here, three outs to go. Face the bottom third of the order here in the top of the ninth. And we have a new shortstop. Sam Adway will come into the game to play shortstop. So Toll comes set. Bethel steps in, first pitch in there, first strike. And it's 0 and 1. Bethel 0 for 3 tonight. Break a ball, swing and a miss. This was a designated start for Charlie Hurley. Four innings. He would be in line for the win. Will be in line for the win. Break a ball misses downstairs, one and two. Out to left. Playable. Blue. Puts it away. So one gone here in the ninth. You see what Max caught the final out on, on Sunday. He was fist pumping as he was catching. That's hard to do. <laughs> as you're concentrating, you give, I mean, that's a lot, of, a lot going on. That's a lot of movement there. Yeah. Berkeley will step in. 0 for 3 tonight. All three strikeouts. Swings at the first pitch. Hits this ball down the right field line. Gasparino with a nice running catch as he gets up against the wall. Mavericks down to their final out. As Gregory will step in. He's had a good night. It's two for three as he comes to the plate. First pitch upstairs for ball one. The 1 0. Count evens at one and one. Field line. Mavericks down to their final strike. Longhorn fans come to their feet. Toll comes set. The one two lays off. Count evens. Gregory steps back in. Got away with a hanger. Knew it right away. You can see the reaction of a pitcher. You guys know it when it comes out of your hand. Oh, I'd like to grab that one back. I would, I would make no like yell or do something, maybe distract the hitter. <laughs> the 2 2. Fastball swing and a miss, and the Longhorns win it in shutout fashion. 11 nothing. 11 strikeouts from the pitching staff. No runs, no errors, six home runs.